In a country where heroes are celebrated with fervor, Emane Khalif has become a symbol of pride and resilience for the people of Algeria. As the golden hues of her Olympic medal glinted in the sunlight, she was met with an outpouring of love that transcended mere admiration. The streets of her home city were alive with the energy of thousands who gathered to witness their champion's return, a momentous occasion that marked not just a personal victory, but a triumph for a nation. However, Khalif's journey to this glorious moment was fraught with challenges that extended far beyond the boxing ring. The controversy surrounding her gender has cast a long shadow over her achievements, igniting debates that have polarized the sports world. Yet, as she stood tall amidst the cheering crowd, her message was clear, this is her moment, and she is not backing down. Emain Khalif's triumphant return to Algeria was nothing short of spectacular. Draped in her nation's flag, she paraded through the streets of Tiaret on an open-top bus, her Olympic gold medal proudly displayed for all to see. The streets were lined with fans, their faces lit up with admiration as they reached out to catch a glimpse of their hero. The bus moved at a snail's pace, allowing Khalif to soak in the adoration of her fellow countrymen and women, many of whom were capturing the moment on their phones. It was a scene of pure joy, a moment when the struggles of the past were momentarily forgotten in the celebration of a remarkable achievement. Khalif's victory in the women's welterweight category at the Paris Olympics is a story that will be told for generations. Her path to gold was not just a battle against her opponents in the ring but also against the tide of skepticism and controversy. Last year, the International Boxing Association IBA, disqualified her from the World Boxing Championship after tests allegedly detected male XY chromosomes in her body. The news sent shockwaves through the sports world, with many questioning her eligibility to compete in women's events. However, the International Olympic Committee IOC, cleared her to compete in Paris, relying on her passport, which identified her as female. Khalif, alongside Taiwan's Lin Yuting, maintained that they were born female and had never identified otherwise. Despite the controversy, Khalif remained focused on her goal. Her Instagram post following the bus parade was filled with gratitude and emotion. The height of pride and honor is in representing your country and raising its flag high, she wrote. The post was a heartfelt acknowledgement of the love and support she had received from her countrymen, a love that had been on full display during her parade. Khalif's words resonated deeply with her fans, who have stood by her throughout the ordeal. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all, she continued. The future is bright, inshallah. These words reflect not just her personal hope but also her determination to move forward despite the challenges she has faced. Khalif's return to Algeria was marked by more than just public adulation. She was welcomed by a delegation of politicians at Houari Boumedine Airport in Algiers and later met with Algerian President Abdelmajid Tebboune at Muradi Palace. President Tebboune, who has taken a personal interest in Khalif's case, expressed his support, with her trainer Mohamed Chawa quoting him as saying, We will not give up on our rights. This statement reflects the broader national pride that Khalif's victory has inspired, as well as the determination to defend her against the detractors who have questioned her legitimacy as a female athlete. But amidst the celebrations, the shadow of controversy looms large. Khalif's coach, Georges Cazorla, has acknowledged that the IBA's tests identified a problem with hormones and with chromosomes, suggesting that she may possess XY chromosomes typical of a male. This revelation, which came to light last year, has fueled the ongoing debate about gender and eligibility in sports. The IBA's disqualification of Khalif and Lin Yuting from the World Championship sparked outrage, with the organization's Russian chief, Umar Kremlov, publicly denouncing them as men in an explosive press conference. The IOC, however, dismissed the IBA's findings as flawed and allowed both athletes to compete in the Olympics, basing their decision solely on the athletes' passports. Khalif has remained defiant in the face of these allegations. I am fully qualified, she stated after winning gold. I am a woman like any other woman. I was born a woman, I lived as a woman, I competed as a woman, there is no doubt. Her words reflect a deep-seated frustration with the ongoing scrutiny of her gender, but also a fierce determination to stand by her truth.
Khalif has labeled her critics as enemies of success, suggesting that the controversy surrounding her has only made her victory sweeter. However, the controversy has not been without its consequences. Italian boxer Angela Carini, who faced Khalif in the Olympics, quit their bout after just 46 seconds, later claiming that she had never felt a punch like Khalif's and needed to preserve my life. Karini's actions have fueled concerns about the safety of female athletes competing against Khalif, with sports presenter Laura Woods adding her voice to the debate. Woods, who praised an article raising concerns about the protection of female boxers, revealed that she has received death threats after commenting on the issue. The vitriol directed at Woods highlights the highly charged nature of the debate surrounding Khalif, as well as the broader questions about fairness and safety in women's sports. Emane Khalif's journey is far from over. While she basks in the glory of her Olympic victory and the adoration of her fans, the controversy that has surrounded her career continues to stir debate. Yet, Khalif remains resolute, determined to move forward with her head held high. Her story is one of triumph in the face of adversity, a tale of a woman who has fought not just for herself, but for her right to be recognized as the champion she is. As she looks to the future, Khalif's words ring clear, the future is bright, inshallah. Whether in the ring or out, Imain Khalif has proven that she is a force to be reckoned with, a true champion in every sense of the word.